Hello the internet, it is Sunday the 11th of October 2020 and welcome back to the channel. Today on the channel, I've got a device here I want to show you and talk a little about why I've purchased this. This is the CalDigit TS3 Plus. It's a dock for Macs. Can be used for PCs as well, but mainly this is for a Mac because it's Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. Now, why would you need one of these? Why would I need one of these? Well, on my live streams, my IRL streaming from Steve Ann's, I've been using a GoPro for one of the cameras. I've got the GH5 going as the main camera in the car, in the vehicle. And then on top of the vehicle, I've got this GoPro getting the wide shot. I was previously using it with a Camlink Elgato, uh, sorry, a Camlink 4K from Elgato. I gotta tell you though, I found these things to be super clunky, a massive resource hog. It's very strange. Sometimes they don't even work. Sometimes you have to do things in a certain order to get it to work. If you don't turn the input on first and you turn the GoPro on first, blah, 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 blah. Very, very, very temperamental, very touch and go. When it works, it's great, but it, I couldn't, it's not reliable enough. Now, the other alternative is to avoid one of these and use a, if you've got one, an A10 Mini, right, which takes four inputs from an HDMI source. These things are great. However, as you can imagine, this requires its own power in the vehicle and I'm kind of trying to limit what I'm putting into the vehicle in terms of battery consumption. So that's kind of no good for the live streams from IRL streaming from Steve Ann. You may also have the brand new GoPro Hero 9, which has its own webcam ability via a type C cable. This sucker here, you can plug this straight in and you can plug that directly in to your MacBook and you're good to go. I have tried that, and given that I'm using the GH5 as well as a bunch of other peripherals in the vehicle, I found that the 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro doesn't like using the GoPro in one of the ports. Doesn't matter which port you use. You know, you've rem they've removed all ports on, on Macs these days. You've only got, basically, you've got four Type-C ports. One of them's obviously got power, and in my case, I've got a Stream Deck. Um, I've got internet essentially this thing even though it's rad and it allows webcam usage the gopro hero 9 it didn't work for me it was clunky it was no different than the cam link 4k from elgato so what i want to try is using this device here the ts3 plus from cal digit let's have a little look ski at their little promo piece here i suppose this is their little little piece on their website if this site loads so you get connected 15 ports of extreme connectivity now the very interesting thing about this it has three type 3 type c usb 3 ports so one of them is power now it's going to be a little interesting because the power wattage on this 87 watts whereas the requirements on the 2019 macbook pro 16 inch is 95 watts so there's gonna be a discrepancy there. That's okay. I think I'm gonna just plug my power into one of the ports on board the machine and not power it through here. But if you wanted to, you could power it through here. The beauty is that does leave you with two other Type-C ports. One of them's less powerage, one of them's better. You might find dongles out there and they, it's kind of a bit pointless, these dongles. You plug in the dongle and then you've only got one USB-C port and that's your power one. So you need one with multiple, and that's this is the only guy I've been able to find that does that. Of course, it's powered by its own brick, but that's okay. I'd rather power this in the vehicle than power this in the vehicle and just get the four the four uh, HDMI inputs. I'm not using HDMI inputs anyway, if you think about it. Well, you were with this, but now with the GoPro 9, you're not because it's the Type-C. So it'd be pointless going from GoPro to Type-C to HDMI to A10 Mini, that'd be kind of silly. So let me let me show you let me show you the um, the setup here on the laptop. I'm gonna open up a NDI source here. I got my phone here. If I connect this with an NDI camera, I'll be able to show you what I've got here. So this is connecting via NDI, 
uh, once that camera okay so that camera's fired up let me just turn this on here so you guys can now see that so if we see down here right so we've got this is the dongle I've got going into my machine and I can plug in the A10 mini into a USB here then I've also got this is this is deceptive because there's no power coming out of this but it does go into my uh, 4G modem and a hard drive now that's this side of the board taken care of, as you can imagine, that's powered to the laptop. On this side of the board, we've got basically um, hard drives and microphone. This guy here, which goes back into hardware um, uh, encoder over there and stream deck. So basically you're, you're done at that point, right? That's all you've got on the Mac. Let's get rid of the NDI, um, turn that off. So yeah, you've basically, you've, you've cut yourself off at the foot at that point because of lack of ports. So let's open this sucker and then let's see how this works with the GoPro Hero 9 plugged directly in. Um, while we open it, ah oh shit. While we open this, I wanna take the opportunity to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you're a supporter of mine on Patreon, appreciate you, much so. You do help me to create this content and to afford all these devices, right? And basically to give you a better stream. Let me just cut that sucker open. Thank you very much, patron supporters. Wow, that wasn't as easy as I thought. Okay. All right, so we've got a bunch of crap in here, which I will look at later. Notably, it does come with its own Type-C cable, which is always handy. Um, power power cable here, a rather large brick, crikey. All right, that's a large brick. We're gonna need this. Where's the actual device? Back down here somewhere. Oh, that's kind of hard to get out. Okay. All right. That's kind of nice, kind of neat, kind of tidy. Let's get this sucker out of here. We'll plug this in and then we'll plug in the GoPro and I'll show you... You're going to get a bit of stream inception there. I'm going to show you my OBS, um, even though you'll see like a infinity kind of thing going on, but I'll show you when I plug it in and what comes up. Get all this crap off. Okay, it's got to take this sucker off. So I will power this up by a... Oh, man. All right. Oh, yeah, and this one too. Shh. Okay, that's got an elastic on it. That's probably a little easier. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's your kettle cable. Let's uh, plug that sucker in here. Okay, so the brick, for all intents and purposes, the brick will be under the front seat of Steve-Ann right now. Actually, I can leave it on the... Uh, I'll put it up here. So I'll plug this sucker into a port down here. Oh, it's got a little, uh, get that off. I've got a power here, I'll plug this sucker in. Okay, it's plugged in. So, there's a whole bunch of ports on this thing too. Like, I'm being honest, I'm not gonna touch nearly any of these. There's a optical, you want an optical uh, audio, uh, digital audio, do you need that? I mean, it's 2020, right? There's a display port, which is, Kind of strange, I thought that would be an HDMI. So power just goes in like that. Does it light up? Don't have any power there. I don't see a light on there. Why is that not powered up? Perhaps this cable isn't plugged in. In that case, I'll plug it in up here. Okay, that's interesting. I get, oh, of course, it's got its own power through the uh, USB-C port, I suppose. Let's plug that sucker in, but that's kind of strange. I thought that there'd be at least, there's no switch on there. Okay, all right. Well, let's plug it in and see what happens. I guess I could have used my own cable here, but I'll do this as per what you receive. Oh man, that's not a very long cable. 
Damn, I won't be using this one. So let's go. So in here, as you can see on the back, there is the three USB type C ports. This one here is the powered one. This one here is, um, I can't see. That one doesn't even have a label on it. This one here is 10 gigabits. So this is the one you're gonna plug in your GoPro. But this guy here is the powered one. So we'll plug that in. And oh, on the front, there's one as well. So you got, there's a lot going on on here, right? This is the dock on steroids. So let's, um, I should take out, you know what I'll do? I'll take out, I'll give you the NDI source again, and I'll take out my dock here. So I'm gonna turn that back on. Turn that back on, that connected, yep, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna take this out of here, and I'm gonna basically give you power in here. So power goes in on that guy. It's hard to do with one hand. Give me one second. So that's powered in there. So then I'll take the source from here and we'll go straight in and we'll see how this goes. This should get a light. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got a light on there now. So that's interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So when that's on, it's gonna ask me to reload my audio. That's cool. I'll just do that. That's cool. So when that's on, what we're gonna do here, I'm going to cut this again. We'll just cut that. I'll turn this off. What we'll do, um, I'm gonna show you my OBS, right? So we wanna, we wanna see this coming in as a source, but of course, first, we have to plug something into it. So we'll take the GoPro 9 and we will plug in, and this is a good reason why I didn't use this cable for the TS3. Let's turn, ah, oh, a little secret, a little tip. If you're gonna use your GoPro 9 as a webcam, you first of all have to change a setting in the preferences. It's in the connections. So if you swipe down to unlock, you go across from here. Oh, by the way, um, touch screen on these, clunky. So you scroll across from here, you'll go to connections. The thing you're looking for is USB connection. It's the one at the very bottom. If it's on MTP, that's not what you want. That's what I use to transfer the footage when I've come back from a surf. That's when you plug it straight in, it goes to the quick app. You need to tap that and change it to GoPro Connect. So let's do that. Turn it on to GoPro Connect and then you should be good to go. So let's scroll back up, get the screen off. GoPro touch screens, they're so clunky, right? So let's plug in this cable here. First of all, let's open this sucker up. USB, oh, you know what we should do first? We should also load up the GoPro app. Now, if you haven't got the GoPro webcam app, you can just go and grab that from GoPro. I'll turn it on. It's actually, it's already loaded anyway. Okay, so that's cool. So that's plugged in here. Now, if we plug this in here, we should see, let's just go straight into that one there. Oh, the 10 gigabit one at the top. We should see this now come as a webcam. That should go onto webcam mode. When I see, there you go, USB connected. We should be seeing, oh, there it is. Okay, so what I was looking for there, folks. Now you can't see this, but on my screen, on the little GoPro icon at the top of your bar, taskbar, little blue light. So that does tell you that it's on. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to show you my OBS. It's gonna be a bit clunky this, but I'm gonna show you my OBS. Let's just put this over here. Um, let's just get rid of that. Okay, if I go across to here. So this is gonna be a bit of inception here. You're gonna see multiples of me there. Um, if we go to a new, uh, we need a new, video capture device. I guess this will bring in, we we'll just call it default. This will bring in the TS3, I suppose. FaceTime, Epoch, NDI, GoPro, webcam. Oh wait, okay, that's interesting. I thought it would say, I thought it would possibly say something. Oh, and by the way, how's this? I could never get this high version to work. Oh wow, they didn't like that. Oh, hang on a second. I didn't check. I didn't check the GoPro app here. Show preview. Let me just do this off screen here. So over here, I've got the preview here. 
So there it is. Okay, so we we can verify that that is working. So that's you that's your GoPro right now active as a webcam through the TS3. But what I want to do, I'll get that off screen so you guys don't see the inception. But what I want to do here is show you. Um, so the GoPro webcam. Yeah, see that? See that? That's clunky, right? I, I see that happening. Interesting. That's whenever you go to the high setting. But if you now change it to 1280, you're good. It just means that you then got to, you know, scale this up and down. But that's interesting, right? That is that is very interesting, that little dilemma. But that is, um, well, let, let me just, let me get that off screen now. I don't want you guys to have to deal with that crap. Let's get, let's get rid of that. Um, you want to delete? I'll remove that. And by the way, let's just get that off screen so there's no more inception there. But yeah, that's very interesting. Very interesting. I, I don't know anyone uh, that's been able to get the high setting to work, but that's how this device works. Now, essentially, once you've got this going, you now have an extended array of potential. You can, there's, there's so much on here, right? There's so many ports. This is basically giving you a whole option of uh, connectivity that you would otherwise forego because of the beauty of removing all the ports. Thank you, Apple. So if you do like this, and oh, I should probably tell you what else is on here. You got a um, uh, SD card reader, you got a microphone and headphone. So two separate ports, one for a microphone, one for a headphone. Let me unplug it so I can um, move it around. You've also got, just one second, we'll just load the uh, audio again. You've got front-loading USB here. You've got that front-loading uh, Type-C USB. You've got four on the back here, four USB 3s. You've got the, the ones we've already mentioned. You've also got DisplayPort. You've also got uh, Gigabit Ethernet on the back here, and you've got the optical. If, you, if you've got an old uh, device that requires optical outputs or inputs, this is it. I mean, I've already got one on my sound card, but you might need one. But yeah, if you want to purchase your own one of these, the TS3 from CalDigit, there is a link down below. It's an affiliate link if you want to help help me, help yourself. Not cheap, not cheap, but um, going to be very, very handy for me for streaming from Steve Ann. Like I said before, I uh, hope this video gives you some insight into the product. And if this did help you, please, please, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.